with the Muppet Show finally available on Disney Plus, today we thought we'd show you some really cool vintage Muppet Show items. <laughs> If there's one thing The Muppet Show is known for, is its amazing musical acts. And in that vein, to get things started, we're going to show you some really cool Muppet music items. One of the best known Muppet songs, besides the opening theme song of course, has to be Manamana. <laughs> Manamana <laughs> was such an instant classic that in 1977, record company PYE actually released Manamana. <laughs> As a single. The 45 also contained Robin's rendition of Halfway Down the Stairs. Unfortunately for Muppet fans in the US, this was only released in the UK. Another really cool UK only music release was the Muppet Show music album. This was released in 1979 also by PYE. This copy was pressed in New Zealand and is still in mint condition and still brand new factory sealed. While the printing on the front cover is spectacular, the back cover could use a little work. The text is not very sharp, which makes it incredibly hard to read some of the smaller writing. What makes this release really special though, is that many of the tracks were not released anywhere else. Some of the rare tracks include Blue Skies by the Prairie Dogs, Do Wah Diddy Diddy by Jerry and the Atrix, Henrietta's Wedding performed by Jerry and Lou, Magic Garden performed by Kermit, Mad About the Frog by Miss Piggy, Frog Kissing, performed by Some Frogs, Floyd's rendition of While My Guitar Gently Weeps, 60 Seconds Got Together by the Guild Brothers, and It Was a Very Good Year by Statler and Waldorf. While the rhyming song and Dog Walk were released on the 1984 compilation album Silly Songs, many of the tracks were finally released in 1994 as part of the Jim Henson Records release Muppet Hits Take two. Tracks like Pennsylvania 6 5000, Hawaiian War Chant, Macho Macho Man, Jamboree, and the Electric Mayhem's Jam, renamed Sweet Tooth Jam. Of course, if you wanted to make Muppet music of your own, a line of Muppet musical instruments was also released. The line consisted of Muppet drums, tambourines, and a full drum kit. Here we have two different Dr. Teeth tambourines released as part of the line. Teeth and it's time to Three, four. The UK didn't just get exclusive Muppet music, they got other exclusive Muppet merchandise as well. Here we have the Fozzie Bear Muppet Show Fun Figure by Palatoy. This series of figures only consisted of Kermit, Rolf, and Fozzie. These were basically plastic puppet action figures of the characters. The legs are articulated and you can make their mouths move by pressing this little button on the back. <laughs> UK Muppet fans were also treated to this line of Muppet Show stationery as well. The set was released in 1977 by Hestar Stationery. The line included Kermit, Fozzie, Miss Piggy in her karate outfit, and Animal. <laughs> the front page features the Muppet Show logo while subsequent pages are left blank. Another really cool UK only item were these Muppet Show yo-yos. These were released in 1978 by Lumar Limited. Each metal yo-yo featured a different Muppet character on the front with the Muppet Show yo-yo logo on the back. In 1977, World Distributors released this Muppet Show activity book. The activities included connect the dots, coloring pages featuring the mops, a way to copy Fozzie from one page to another, and many other activities with Hilda and her friend. In 1977, Grossmith released what I consider one of the strangest items in my collection, this Muppet Show talcum powder. This 100 gram talcum powder features images of Dr. Teeth, Fozzie, Kermit, Miss Piggy, Rolf, and Animal. Of course, the UK didn't keep all the really cool Muppet Show stuff for themselves. The US got some really cool things as well. As one of their many, many Muppet Show related items, Hallmark released this Muppet Show centerpiece in 1977. Each piece creates the Muppet Show stage, orchestra pit, and Statler and Waldorf's balcony on the front, while the other side features the backstage area. Since it was produced during the first season, it includes rare characters such as George the Janitor, 
And Mildred Hockstetter, M-A-P-H-D, O-B-E, and R-S-V-P. Uh, whatever. Just like in the UK, the U.S. got its own line of Muppet Show stationery. The Muppet Show personality pads were released by Stuart Hall in 1980. The line, of course, included characters such as Kermit, Miss Piggy, and Fozzie, but they also included Floyd, who rarely gets any solo merchandise. Another Hallmark item was this Pigs in Space Postulates set, featuring, of course, The fatuous Captain Link Hogthrob, the recalcitrant first mate Miss Piggy, and the describable Dr. Strangeport. Postulates were a card you could fold up and instantly mail. Postulates is the stationery that gives you the warmth of a letter with the ease of a postcard. No more searching for envelopes. Just fold and seal with a matching sticker. Postulates. They make keeping in touch a little bit easier. These were released in 1981 towards the end of the series. In 1978, Thermos released this Muppet Show lunchbox. The front features the Muppet Show cast and the same image that was used on the classic Muppet Show soundtrack. The side has Miss Piggy. The other side has Fozzie. The bottom features a gaggle of Muppet audience members, including Boppity and Gloat, Zelda Rose, and Mildred Hockstetter. Looking down on everybody, as usual, is Statler and Waldorf, who are joined by Droop, while the back features Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. And yes, this one still has its thermos. Another really cool item we have in the museum is this Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem backing plate for that lunchbox. You'll notice the frame is much wider on the plate than the lunchbox. That's because the plate would have been bent around a template to create the finished lunchbox. Well, if you're going to school with your Muppet Show lunchbox, you obviously need to have your Muppet Show backpack as well. This cloth backpack was also released by Thermos in 1977. You'll notice it says Jim Henson's Muppet Show instead of The Muppet Show. This is the way they branded many items from the late 70s through the mid 80s. An extremely popular product of the late 70s, early 80s were Shrinky Dinks. Color Forms released this set of Muppet Show Shrinky Dinks in 1981. The set featured 35 full color Muppets so you could recreate your own Muppet Show. An extremely wide range of characters were included, such as Annie Sue Pig, Sweetums, Lou Zeeran and his boomerang fish act. Dog Lion, Beauregard, The Newsmen, and Fletcher Bird. I know many kids, including myself, learned the hard way that ovens are hot while trying to make this set. Muppet Show stuff wasn't just for kids, though. Sigma put out a wide-ranging line of Muppet Show ceramic items. Here we have the Sigma Muppet Show picture frame. The frame features Kermit sitting on the stage of the Muppet Theater with a camera. The picture that came with the frame is a photo of the cast from the first season. Though any photo you added instantly became a part of the Muppet Show. Sigma was not the only company to make Muppet ceramics. Kilncraft put out a line of Muppet Show mugs. Each mug featured a character in two different poses. The line included many underrepresented characters such as Sam, Floyd, and Beauregard. The Kilncraft line was released in 1979 in both the US and the UK, which is where they were produced. After the Muppet Show's initial run, demand for the characters was still extremely high. So, of course, they branched out into movies and TV specials and went on tour. And by on tour, I mean the Muppet Show on tour. A live-action stage show featuring performers in full-bodied Muppet costumes. It's elegant. That face, it just did that face. It's intelligent. Waka waka, waka waka. It's awesome. Does that mean we should do some break dancing? <laughs> It's those outrageous Muppets live on stage for the first time ever in the Muppet Show on tour. Here we have a 1984 pendant with character art by Guy Kilcrest. It was sold exclusively at each stop on the tour. Brace yourself, America. So far, everything we showed you was available to the general public. But here are a few exclusives. As you may know, the Muppet Show aired in syndication in the U.S. Here we have a Muppet Show press kit sent out the TV stations to promote the fifth and final season of the show. The inside features many statistics about the show to get stations interested in carrying it. The Muppet Show was the number one primetime access series from 1976 through 1980. It also features all kinds of critical endorsements and includes a spread of recent magazine covers and articles featuring the Muppets. A spread showcasing the many awards the series won, all the sponsors and licensees associated with the show, including Coca-Cola, Pepsi, General Mills, Kraft,
Chrysler, Ford, Nestle, Pillsbury, Time, Kellogg's, Sears, Toyota, Volkswagen, and many more. A full page of merchandise tie-ins, including a few items we featured today, and a fold-out list of all the guest stars. Because this was released before the completion of the fifth season, many of the guest stars' photos are not from The Muppet Show, including Carol Burnett, Roger Moore, and Cher, who was not a guest on The Muppet Show at all. It also touts The Muppet's recent and upcoming productions, including The Muppet Movie, The Muppet Movie 2, which we now know as The Great Muppet Caper, Nice title. and The Dark Crystal. Of course, the cast and crew got their own exclusive Muppet stuff as well. Here we have the Muppet Show cast and crew mug by Kilncraft. Since Kilncraft was licensed to create the line of Muppet Show coffee mugs, they were enlisted to create a special mug for the cast and crew as well. The mug features each performer's main character, including, of course, Kermit, Fozzie, Scooter, Miss Piggy, and Gonzo. But it also includes Annie Sue Pig, Rizzo, Gaffer the Cat, and Floyd Pepper. Of course, for collectors, the most sought-after Muppet Show cast and crew item is the Muppet Show cast and crew jacket. This Muppet Show cast and crew jacket is, of course, a recreation of Scooter's jacket. It's a green satin jacket with a yellow collar and yellow stripes down the sleeves, while the back features the classic Muppet Show logo. The main difference is the logo on the back of Scooter's jacket is white inside a yellow circle. Well, that's going to do it for this look at vintage Muppet Show items. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and let us know what was your favorite item we showcased today. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels. Watch The Muppet Show on Disney+. And we'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum.